come down. They have to get rid of a certain amount of people. They have to depopulate Africa in order to take it over. And that's where all the land is now, and that's where they're going back. Mm -hmm. They understand what that is about. Mm -hmm. Now, when we no longer believe that something is possible and probable, it is no longer available, and therefore, I mean, it, within our own psyche, that means it is no longer attainable. Mm -hmm. To tell, uh, for Christianity to divert our attention to spiritual self into a pre-written script mm -hmm. about a savior. See, that's the thing. Well, you got to look at the, the psycho babble and the, and, the, and the mind fuck that's going on in here. To divert what they know to be an enormous spiritual power of black people here in the belly of the beast away from its truest potential to really cause problems here for white people, you divert it into a parameter, into a construct of behavior that maintains your control. Mm -hmm. When you have spiritual minds thinking that a savior named Jesus Christ is coming back to save them, you have already, got, you have already bottled the genie. Mm -hmm. The magic can't happen when the genie is in the bottle. Mm -hmm. And the genie is in church. Mm -hmm. So, spiritual energies being diverted into the Christ model is to divert it into the altars and into the power structure of this recessive. We give him life because we give him the attention. And people don't understand that your attention is an energy. That thought is an energy. That everything we do when we focus thought becomes a living principle. We create life with our thoughts. So if our thoughts are preoccupied with Jesus, we give life to Jesus. Mm -hmm. When our thoughts are no longer uh, preoccupied with Olodumare, Olodumare dies. Mm -hmm. Or the connection to the power that we identify as a Ludumare dies. That particular conduit, the synapse that gives us the signals, the energies, the information directly from the earth source is severed. Because our attention is now on what this devil created as this artificial golden cow. Mm -hmm. And you see in your Bible that they erected when Moses left them. And this is exactly what this beast knows. He knows the psychology of control. And to resurrect the seed, and what the brothers and sisters don't realize out there, is that the work that we are doing to decode and to become code breakers is planting a spiritual slash metaphysical seed into the fields of the etheric and akashic planes mm -hmm. and that will give life to a whole new dynamic a whole new genus a whole new species is being created by what it is that we're doing you don't see it yet but you will see it in the children that will come mm -hmm. because the very words we're speaking has a volume and an energy that will begin to establish itself. Whereas children are going to start waking up, people are going to start thinking a whole other way. And all of a sudden, the people that are in place are not going to know what to do with it. And that's exactly why they are now spraying all these poisons. They're getting ready to spray like Malphion again. Are you familiar with that? Do you know they're going to come back again? I don't know, but it might, might be the reason I end up in the hospital almost dead. I don't know. Oh, you know? yeah. Well, let me but, tell you uh, something. They're getting ready to spray again with malathion and another kind of poison right here in this city starting in April. Mm -hmm. They're going to start spraying with malathion. They're going to deal with the structure. And all of it, brother, mark my words, all of it is consciousness suppression. Mm -hmm. Now, is this... Um Everybody would spray it. Is there something? It would smell it. Uh, it would get in everybody. But will it uh, react with melanated people different than? Well, what is happening is they can't spray one thing to try to get you over. They got to spray a series of different types of genetic things, genetically uh, mutated uh, materials. So they have what they call the genetically mutated viruses, genetically created bacteria, and stuff that is going to start training your genetics to accept them. 
So they are Let's terraforming. Explain that. Explain that. But what these bastards are doing, and I explained it at the gathering of the masters, which is why when the people really see what the gathering of the masters was and what it is I spoke about, it's called nanogenetic mind control, mm -hmm. where they begin, they don't have to put chips into your head no more. What they do is they genetically begin to train your genetics to adapt to the behavior that they want you to adapt to. No, how is that done? I okay, mean, when you begin to spray and put all kinds of poisons and toxins, you cause problems in the genetics. You destroy DNA. You disconnect certain kinds of, of helixes. You destroy the actual pattern that is supposed to be created to receive it. If something happens to the wiring in that, there's no signal. Mm -hmm. Same thing with your genetics. Mm -hmm. When they begin to distort the genetics or prevent the genetics, what they call the junk material in your genetics, from coming together to create the mold and the model of a higher being, mm -hmm. they create a a mind-controlled slave that is based upon a new form of instinct. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is conditioning a new instinct into you so that you will react without them even having to deal with you anymore. You will react based upon the environment that they set up and you will react because they have seeded your environment with specific toxins and poisons that will destabilize your consciousness. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So you give me food that has no seeds, food that I could sit up on a shelf for a year, mm -hmm. foods that have no information because in, my, in, in the nanogenetics I said that the seed carries the information. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a fruit that has no information in it, what are you receiving from the earth? Because when you eat from the earth, you are communicating directly from Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. When she has none of her seeds in there, which tells you what that is. In other words, the seeds of the consciousness of the fruits. It tells you what fruit you have. You don't know if there's no seeds in there. What the hell are you eating? We don't know what we're eating. Mm -hmm. If there's no seeds, then that may not be a grape. It may be a shrunken pear. Mm -hmm. It may be something completely different. But they are playing with cross, um, what they call uh, pollination. cross pollination of genetics. And they are crossing everything. They're crossing pigs with tomatoes, cross gene, cross species. And they're putting it all together to mix up your genetics. Mm -hmm. You see? So that you don't get the proper signals that's going to start beaming in on this planet when that magnetic field drops. Mm -hmm. It's going to be deep in here. Mm -hmm. But you raised two questions, mm -hmm. uh, Phil. I want to come back to this. I sure. just want to throw this in. One, uh, you left a white man in doing this to a... Um, to to a, a, a thinking... Um, calculating, uh, very intelligent um, species mm -hmm. who had the intelligence and the foresight to understand um, not only who we were, but how to destabilize, undermine, and control. Mm -hmm. And you said that he knew what he was doing and that he... Um, went into Africa and seeded a new religion and mm -hmm. uh, a new way of thinking and all of that as a plan, long-range plan, which means then that we are dealing with a very intelligent whatever. Ah, uh, now we're getting into the part that people say is flaky. See, there's a part of this particular equation that if you bring it into the particular uh, conversation, that's when the naysayers and the detractors start saying, oh, you're getting into boogeyman again. But there was never a time when life was not on this planet. We are millions of years old. Mm -hmm. And there are entities living on different planets and different solar systems and galaxies who have agendas with one another, who have arguments with one another, just like we do with different peoples down here. Same thing goes on on a wider galactic scheme, scheme of things. We are the least informed of people because we are so completely oblivious to the neighborhood that we live in this cocoon. Mm -hmm. And we are maintained in this cocoon. You realize that there are hundreds of thousands of people living on Mars right now? No, I ain't had no idea. No, humans. <laughs> no, 
No, this is where the attack comes. This is where the attack. This is where this is the attack because this is where Carly was sick. Yes, exactly. But you see, if we don't, we need to deal with these white folks down here. But see, the white folks down here and the ones up there are the ones that's getting ready to deal with a whole new intergalactic diaspora. Are you be ready for that? Well, see again if we start speaking.